Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Michael Rothschild. And I am Joe Bruiser, and this is Down for the Count. What the hell are you doing here? fans as you can see i i am joined by joe bruiser now joe anybody's better than having mcdowell here so i'm thankful that you're here but i don't know why you're here why are you here i am here because i don't want to sit at home and do nothing here's the deal a couple years ago um i developed a back injury um, that i've been nursing over the last couple of years and my last match with malice in the body bag match as you guys seen on the video i got thrown through a table re-aggravated that back injury um, I had to go see a doctor, had an MRI done, I flew down to Atlanta, Georgia, best doctor teams in the country, um, and now I'm pending an injury. I will know the results within a couple of weeks, but it's looking like I'm going to have to retire from wrestling. So, the cool part is, is I'm still under contract, so instead of sitting at home doing nothing, I'm going to be here making sure that you are not getting in any trouble. So, so you're my new commentary partner? I am a better commentary partner. Thank goodness! All right. Well, Bruiser, as you know as well as I do, our next show is July the 11th. It is Gauntlet for the Gold, and one of the most anticipated matches, at least among the fans, is Christian Black against the self-proclaimed man without fear, Kyle Maverick. Now, you know, in the minds of fans, a couple months ago, Kyle Maverick stepped over a line when he put his hands on Kayla, enabling Samantha Heights to become the new women's champion. Uh, Christian Black obviously took offense to that, so with your in-ring expertise, what are you looking for in the matchup between Kyle Maverick and Christian Black? Well, it's going to be exciting, but let me point out, I, I don't really think that, I don't think Kyle went over the line at all. I mean, this, that day and age, if, if you're a woman, this is no offense to women, I love the women, but if you're a woman and you're going to get in a man's business and literally get in a man's business physically, you're going to get hurt. That's just the way it is. Now, Christian Black taking offense to that, he's a man's man. I'm not going to deny that to him, but he needs to watch out because Kyle Maverick's hot right now. Kyle Maverick's a good wrestler. Christian Black's a good wrestler. Maybe Kyle's got a little more experience. I don't know. I'm excited about saying it. I want to watch and see what happens. Well, and, you know, another tie-in to this is while Kayla's been out with injury, Haley Rose has kind of stepped into Kayla's role as Christian Black's tag team partner. And now that Kayla's back, it seems there's, and her with her budding romance, apparently with Christian Black, Haley's been kind of thrown to the wayside. Great match out there. Thanks. I brought you some ice. Awesome. Thanks for saving me. Of course. I thought he was going to pummel me. I got your back anytime you need it, just so you know. And uh, I was kind of thinking, you saved me, I saved you. You want to get some dinner? Yeah, pretty hungry. Hey, 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 what's going on here? Uh, oh, we're partners. I thank you for helping me. I really do. We, we tore it up. But, I mean... Sorry. Thank you. Well, as you can see, Bruiser, you know, we have some kind of love triangle, rectangle. I don't know what's going on. You know, you know you're twice my age, so you're much well, more well-versed in love than I am. What's your opinion on what's going down here? Somebody's got a crush. Obviously, I mean, you see look on Kayla's face. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm a guy. Yeah, Kristen's an okay guy and all, but... Yeah, I think I think Haley's just jealous. So we got a crush, an interest, and we got a jealousy thing going on. Is this pro wrestling or is this a soap opera? I, I, and then we've got Ma Maverick and Heights over here. Who knows what's going on with those two? Very interesting. I'm excited to see. But it. speaking of Samantha Heights, we got word while we were watching that video, it has been signed for July the 11th. It will be Samantha Heights defending the NWA Midwest Women's Championship against Haley Rose. And I was just told, Bruiser, Haley Rose has said if she cannot beat Samantha Height at Gauntlet for the Gold, she will retire. That is, that's, that's a statement. Coming from somebody who has been in that situation, your, your emotions get worked up. You get so worked up about wanting to just get your hands on that person or get your hands on the title that you have been fighting for, that you're willing to do anything and giving up your career. That, that's a statement. So I, I wish you the best of luck, but... 
don't count Samantha out because she's got the belt for a reason. Absolutely. Wrestling fans, we will be right back after this word from our sponsors. Hello, welcome to JT's Pizza. You got pizza so great, you'll scrape your plate. Cleaning your plate will be the least of your worries. Now deciding on all the mouth-watering toppings, that's a problem. With our homemade dough, cheese, and our famous special recipe white sauce, you'll be begging for seconds in no time. With the only place in town with all your favorite flavors of ice cream, you can choose dine-in or carry-out. So come on down to JC's Pizza, 11 South High Street in Le Rue, Ohio. Another rivalry bruiser that's been heating up hotter than a pistol the last few months has been the rivalry between Dirty Tom and the star of the show, AJ Snow. Back at Breaking Point Revelations, Snow was able to get the victory over Dirty Tom. Tom proved why he is one of the dirtiest players in the game right now when AJ Snow offered his hand as a congratulations for a great match, and Tom slapped the taste out of his mouth. Then, at Summer Chaos Inception, Tom was able to even up the score. I like Dirty Tom. I like this guy. I don't know him. I've never met the guy. We've passed in the locker room a couple of times. I don't even know him, but I like him. He's a real guy. He does what he needs to do to get the job done. Now, I've got a lot of history with A.J. Snow. Me and him have been in and out of the ring together. We've been friends. We've been opponents. He's a tough guy. The guy can take a beating and come back for more, but you cannot count Dirty Tom out. He is the real deal, I'm here to tell you. So I'm really excited about this rubber match to see what happens. Hopefully it's a good match for the fans and a good match for us. And after Summer Chaos Inception, I was able to get a word with Dirty Tom. My former broadcast partner, Jimmy McDowell, was able to get a word with AJ Snow. So wrestling fans, let's hear what Dirty Tom and AJ Snow had to say. I am joined at this time by AJ Snow, who, AJ, at Summer Chaos, you had another incredible match with Dirty Tom. Uh, unfortunately, in the second match, he was able to come out on top. You know, Jimmy, uh, you know me well, don't you? I'm a, I'm a calm, cool, collected person. I'm a, I, don't, I don't get angry too often. But the one thing that'll set me off, Tom, is disrespect. And in our first match, you came at me. You brought it. I was the better man that night. And after the match, I took my hand out. I tried to shake your hand. And what'd you do? You slapped me. And then you attacked me. After the match in the locker room, really, I was a better man that night. You should have shook my hand. Now, last month, you beat me. Doesn't matter how you beat me, you beat me. I'll man up and I'll say you beat me. But here in July, the rubber match, we'll finally find out who the better man is. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here with my very good friend, Dirty Tom. Now, Tom, back at Summer Chaos Inception, you picked up a huge win against the star of the show, A.J. Snow. And in response to that, the NWA Midwest Board of Directors has decided on June 11th it will be the rubber match. It will be Dirty Tom against A.J. Snow for the final time. Now, Tom, you know, what are your thoughts about your win, and what are your thoughts about your third match with AJ Snow? It's just another match. The NWA now knows who Dirty Tom is. This business is all about making noise. You need to make noise to get noticed. And AJ, fine, you got me in the first match. Big deal, right? Because now everyone's talking about what just recently happened. Dirty Tom gets a little dirty. That's right. AJ, night is over for you. We're going to have to have a battle three. Battle three, who gives a crap, right? See, a lot of people like to judge a book by its cover. AJ comes out all flashy tattoos. Oh, big shot! Then Dirty Tom tells a story. You gotta get dirty in this world. AJ, when you get into my world, things aren't very clean. They go dirty. And I will see you next month. Hot shot. Buy your tickets at Replays, 1239 Mount Vernon Avenue in Marion, Ohio. Replays with the cheapest games and the cheapest movies in town. Replays, a proud sponsor and ticket outlet for the NWA. All right, fans, as you heard in those videos, the rematch has been signed. It is the rubber match. AJ Snow, Dirty Tom 3 at Gauntlet for the Gold. Now, this next thing we're going to talk about, Bruiser, you personally got involved in at Summer Chaos Inception. This whole situation between Brandon Xavier and Jonathan Hampton, for some reason, Foz and War Machine got involved. You know, you, the beating you took, for lack of a better word, from Brandon Xavier, War Machine, and Foz probably aggravated your back injury. What is your role in this situation between Brandon Xavier and Jonathan Hampton? My whole role is loyalty. It's always been loyalty. Whether you love me, whether you hate me, I've always been loyal to what I do and to what I say. 
okay? The big deal about what happened a couple of weeks ago was my fault because I was dumb enough to get in the ring with three guys. Okay, you get in the ring with three guys, I don't care who you are, bad things are going to happen. Now, as much as of a punk that I think Foz is, I'm actually kind of proud of him because he's finally sticking up for himself and he's doing something that he needs to do. Okay, now, with that being said, I came out that night thinking I was being loyal to Jonathan Hampton, the boss, the ex-owner of this company, the guy that I helped build this company with. Okay, when he sold this company, okay, and was ripping the fans off, who stayed there with him? I did. Nobody else did. Nobody else was as loyal as I was to Jonathan Hampton. Well, he was upset about that, so what he did was is decided he wanted to pay out money to get Brandon Xavier to come in and start systematically taking out all these originals that helped build this company, the guys that Jonathan Hampton said wasn't loyal to him. Okay, well, Jonathan Hampton doesn't know about loyalty because when I came out to the ring, where was he at for me? Yeah, I found out he was on vacation. He was on a cruise, eating caviar, enjoying your champagne, while I was in the ring getting my ass kicked. That's your loyalty? Sorry, you have none. The fans know it now. Everybody else knows it. So I hope you get what's coming to you the same way I did. And ever since you came here, you've been talking and saying that someone sent you here for a very specific reason. And that was to win Midwest Chip Wrestling of all of its Marion Originals. You know, and after last month, it's pretty apparent who that person was. And that was the boss, Jonathan. What? It's simple. Hampton was jealous. What? Oh, really? That, uh, oh, listen, oh, last March, Tiffin, Ohio, I paid like 12 bucks to walk into the show. I sat in some bleachers and saw the worst wrestling I have ever seen in my life. It was pure garbage. I have a point. After the show, I walked up to Hampton. I introduced myself. He said, what did you think of the show? It sucked. Exactly. <laughs> the guys on the show, the event, they started in the garage. They bought that thing. The difference between them and me, I lived the tradition of NWA. They lived to be on the day. Are you done talking? No. No. That is all you do is talk, 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 talk. You talk about originals. I am the original. Okay? You talk about people just want to be a part of the NWA. I am the NWA. Three years ago when this company started, I was the one here. I was the one that built this company. People want to talk about these idiots out here paying their hard-earned money to see a product. Well, if it wasn't for Joe Bruiser and Jonathan Hampton, these morons wouldn't have anywhere to go. So, you think it's some accomplishment that you and a bunch of untrained junkies who were in a garage took that name and wanted to act like you were truly NWA. There is no acting to it, okay? You see, no makeup, okay? I'm not a clown gimmick like you are, Mr. X. That's all you've been as a gimmick your whole career. So, I'm gonna get to the point of why I'm here. Jonathan Hampton paid you good money to do a job. You didn't do that job. So, I'm gonna give you two choices. One, you can give him back all the money he paid you to do it. Or two, I can beat it out of you. Hold on, hold on. Joey. Check it out. I can have anybody view it. I whooped your ass, whooped your brother. Oh, yeah, I forgot. He quit. Reaper quit. Whoop quit. Why? Because they found out what it's like to be in a ring with somebody who's giving it off to his business. But what I think these people want, and first of all, don't ever call the moron again. You understand that? 
I think what they want right now is for me to whoop your ass. I do. Brandon and Xavier will be in the building on July 11th. We just found out Jonathan the Boss Hampton will be in the building July 11th. So hopefully we're able to get some resolution to this situation. Fans, let's take a quick commercial break and we'll be right back with Down for the Count. Is that noise under the hood starting to turn heads? Is that spare tire starting to embarrass your kids? Then come in and let the experienced technicians at Waldo Tire and Automotive diagnose and repair the problem. From tune-ups to brake repair and everything in between, including any and all tire services, let Waldo Tire and Automotive get you back on the road safely. Waldo Tire and Automotive, quality you can count on and a company you can trust. Are you looking for something retro? Maybe you're looking for a little throwback. Well, Tag's Thrift Shop is where you need to go. Located on East Center Street in Marion, Ohio. Tag's Thrift Shop is one of the biggest thrift stores in Central Ohio. Go in there and check out all the cool stuff from throwback yesterday, yesteryear, and last century. The customer service is top of the line. Just go in and see Carrie and Jay for anything that you need old school. Tag's Thrift Shop, a proud sponsor of the NW. Welcome back, fans. Now, Bruiser, the biggest statement that was made at Summer Chaos Inception was made by the Impact player Seth Allen. Seth Allen systematically destroyed Phil Nitro Monahan with a little bit of an assist from Ray Orndorff, but you know you cannot undersell what Seth Allen did at Summer Chaos Inception. No, uh, Seth Allen, he has proved time and time again that he is the baddest of the bad. And you're going to have to be double tough, triple tough, if you're going to take that belt off of Seth Allen because he proved a point against Phil Nitro. Now you got 12 guys in the gauntlet for the gold that's going to be going after that belt. I hope they're ready for it. As you just said, Bruiser, Jimmy McDowell caught up with Seth Allen, and Seth Allen had a lot to say about the number one contender gaunt for, gauntlet for the gold. Let's hear what Seth Allen had to say after Summer Chaos Inception. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am joined by the guy who is still the NWA Midwest Heavyweight Champion, the Impact player Seth Allen. At Summer Chaos, Seth, you were able to put away for a second time, I might add, Phil Nitro Monaghan. You know, Jimmy, it was difficult, I'm not going to lie. Phil's a tough guy, it was a fight, he beat me up, and he beat me up some more. Then after that, he decided to beat me up, then he hit me in the face, then he hit me in the back, then he beat me up again, then I fought back, then he beat me up again, but I won. That's the bottom line. You see, Jimmy, there's a reason they call me the impact player. It's not because I'm crazy, it's not because I go and punch people in the face, it's because I make an impact in every way. Whether it's in your face, whether it's in your gut, whether it's in the title rankings, whether whatever it is. And now, it's the NWA. Myself and this promotion are making an impact in the NWA. And the only problem now, Jimmy, who's next? 
who else is there? There's a lot of hungry guys, but who is going to be the next number one contender? That's the big question. See, and this is where I got the inside scoop. There's going to be a number one contender gauntlet, okay? July 11th. Number one contender gauntlet. Do you know what this means? This means there's going to be a bunch of guys, 10, 12, 40, 60, 80 guys, one at a time. Keep wrestling each other. Keep fighting, keep fighting, keep fighting, keep fighting until there's one guy left. That one guy, that one guy is going to be the number one contender for this belt, for this one, that belt, that one there. But you're pretty confident, I imagine. I am. I am. And it's not because I think I'm better than everybody. It's not because I'm bigger than anybody, I'm not faster than anybody, I'm not prettier than anybody. I really don't know why I'm confident, but I am. And I always have been. And I just am. Well, you have reason to be confident. You have a lot of skill to back that up. Who will his opponent be? Well, I guess there's only one way to find out, and that's on July 11th at our next event. Welcome back, fans. And Bruiser, as you saw and as the fans just saw, Seth Allen is game and ready for whoever wins that gauntlet match. Wrestling fans, July the 11th, right here in Marion, Ohio, NWA Midwest Championship Wrestling presents Gauntlet for the Gold. The winner of the 12-man gauntlet match will be the number one contender for the NWA Midwest Heavyweight Championship held by the Impact player, Seth Allen. Bruiser, I love this kind of match. I'm excited about it. I can't wait for it. You don't get matches like this very often. We're going to find out who the bad of the bad is on July 11th. Next week on Down for the Count, we're going to have the first two competitors announced for the gauntlet, and then we will progressively go on announcing the other ten until we get there. Fans, if you don't have your tickets yet, go get them at Replays Gameware. They are $8 pre-sale. They will be $12 at the door. Trust me, fans, this is a once-a-year occurrence. You will not see this match anymore this year. July the 11th, Gauntlet for the Gold. This is Jerry Bruiser. I'm Michael Rothschild, and this is Down for the Count. Buy your tickets at Replays. 1239 Mount Vernon Avenue in Marion, Ohio. Replays with the cheapest games and the cheapest movies in town. Replays, a proud sponsor and ticket outlet for the NWA. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let